next up in rounding off our show today is Timothy Dixon. Here he is. I'm sorry. This guy loves to lick his fingers. I tell you, I don't. This man has no self awareness when you know that he's on video. Uh, you know, I guess everything for Timothy is finger licking good. His finger looking good. Huh? Dothan, Alabama. Here he is. Timothy, of course, is a confirmed false prophet, a man who makes his living lying in the name of Jesus Christ. We're going to listen to a couple of clips today. We're going to point some stuff out as we also continue to expose this man for the fraud that he is. Now, let's watch this first clip. Here we go. Praise the Lord, everybody. This is Brother Timothy coming to you today. We are en route to a um, engagement that we are having out of town I went into an open vision a while ago while we was in prayer praying for someone uh, over the telephone but I went into a vision that I seen um, I seen Joel Osteen um, he was shot and killed I'm asking everyone to pray and I lift up in prayer no matter what you think if he's a devil or if he's whatever uh, let's pray 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 God bless. Bye-bye. So the video that you watched, the clip that you just watched, right, Dixon put that out yesterday, and you heard what he said. Now, open visions, right, we know they come from God. And Timothy proclaims to be a prophet of God. So he says he had an open vision that Joel Osteen was shot and killed, right? We'll come back to that in just a second. Here's a fun fact. The video is no longer up on his channel. He took it down. So, certainly, you've got to wonder why. Well, it's because he's unhinged, and it's because he's a fraud. He realized, probably a couple hours after it was up, that it's psychotic. And also, everybody knows about the shooting that took place last month at Lakewood, right? We all heard the story. Apparently, this, some sort of a female or female wannabe, well, there was a shooting. So it's kind of convenient that all of a sudden, here we are again, where an alleged social media prophet is prophesying something very, very similar to what's already happened. So whatever made Dixon do this, uh, he's trying to capitalize on the headlines. The headlines, basically, you know, that have already happened. And this is the pattern of what the false prophets do. Remember, their prophecies, they always come after the headlines and the stories. It's always, always, always after. It's simply amazing, and the followers are none the wiser. So why is Dixon doing it? Well, he's probably doing it for clickbait. He thinks you know something may continue out of this, um, but then after thinking probably maybe someone in his circle told him to take it down but it certainly is ridiculous and i'm very glad that we captured that before he got away with it because again he did take the video down but we got it and we showed it to you so we can further expose this man as the fraud that he is now i want to show you this next clip we're going to play you this clip look at the date from December of 2021. Here he says, prophetic word visitation from the Lord. And he's going to say something. Let's roll that clip. What's going to happen to you is you're going to lose your minds. Some of you, your mind's going to lose. You're going to snap because you cannot understand what God is doing. He's given you a chance over and over again, but you refuse to hear him. You make fun, but God is fixing to laugh at you. He told me then as I begin to see people, I saw that Nancy Pelosi has cancer. And so again, from 2021, here is Dixon in one of his unhinged video rants. Just blurts out that, well, Nancy Pelosi has cancer before settling into his thousand-mile stare. Now, 
I'm not here to defend Nancy Pelosi, and I'm certainly not her fan, but for this absolute liar to just come out publicly and announce to the world that, well, anyone for that matter, not just Nancy Pelosi, but that anyone has cancer, when in fact he has no idea, nor can he prove what he's saying. It's so utterly slanderous and deceptive on every level. How this man calls himself a prophet, much less a Christian, is beyond me. Are you seeing a pattern here? Making videos that men are going to be shot and killed? Making videos that other people have cancer? What is wrong with this man? It's just so very evil. So, Timothy Dixon, ladies and gentlemen, continue to mark Captain Nasumi here and avoid him altogether.